Hi guys, Jay here and welcome to Sorority Rights. I'm trying something new for the channel so without further ado, let's dive right into this game. Chapter 1 Wait, tap to jump. Double jump. Oh, wait, wait, what, what? Oh shit. 4. Not bad for my first score. I've been wanting to play this game for a long time. I haven't felt this excited in a while. She sure does look excited. <laughs> to be honest, I've always been a bit of an introvert. I was never excited going to school. I didn't have any friends. What else should I look forward to? Schoolwork? If only I could stay all day and play games somehow. Huh, that would be cool. I just got this unreleased sir absurd game from the internet. It looks old and strange. Probably why it wasn't released. I'm not late yet. I think I could play one round. Okay, Mouse, Ultimate Gamer mode on. Okay. So, wait. Isn't it the same game? Oh shit. Oh shit. <laughs> I suck at this. Oh shit, oh shit, and then. So that's that, okay. Young lady, do I need. Need I remind you that you're late for school? Stop playing those games. Take these books and head on over. Be excited. You might need. Some friends there. Dad, I'm not a kid anymore. I'm an adult now. I'm not the type to get excited at the thoughts of new, meeting new friends. Well, not anymore. I've given, given up on that. What's the point? We're probably gonna move again soon. Anyway, well, since it's just second week of school, I figured you'll get more chances to meet friends. Stop it, Dad. It's all your fault. If you hadn't taken that stupid job with Dr. Rochenstein, I would have met people who would accept me for who I am if I had stayed at one place long enough. It doesn't matter. I don't think you care for me at all. All you think it's about that stupid job. For 18 years, I've always been known as the weird girl, the one with no friends, strict parents and strange habits. I was an outcast in part because I loved to smell every page of the book I read. Weird, right? Another was because I spent all day playing games. Turns out, people still discriminate gamers in 2014, do they? I haven't had the chance to meet any local teens. I knew nobody was scared of having new to meet new friends. I haven't spoken to anyone in town yet. I was too shy, you see. Until one day. Ah! Hey, watch it! I'm sorry. I didn't mean to stomp on your foot. I was just in a hurry. I was late for my next class. I've gotta go. Not so fast, clumsy wimpy. I said I'm sorry, Venice. Now get over it. We're both adults. You shouldn't make it a big deal. What do you just say to me? So if you already know me, huh? Well, the who would have not known the most famous girl on campus? Anyway, I really need to get going. I'm running late. Sorry about your shoes though. Oh no dear, I'm not gonna let you pass like that. You see, these are my new shoes that you've thrown it. Excuse me? I'm pretty sure you're not deaf. You heard it right, you'll pay for this. Can we talk about this later? I need to run. Run all you want, Wimpy. Meet me at the mansion 5 pm sharp. Don't make me wait. If you don't show up, there'll be hell to pay. That's fierce. I don't know. Okay, I'll try. Nonsense, Wimpy. You don't have a choice. After class, I contemplated going in and paced back and forth at the idea. Do I really need to see Venice? Did I really ruin her shoes? What did she mean by paying for ruined shoes? Why does she want to meet me at her mansion? The mansion. Does she want me to literally pay her for the shoes? I don't think I'll be able to afford it. Or worse, does she want me to fight her or something? I've never gotten into a fight before. Should I go home? Typical sport brat, rich brat, sport rich brat. Venice isn't really the type of person I should snub. She's the leader of a powerful sorority here. 
I may not have friends here, but I'm a good observer. A lot of students fear her because of her sorority's bullying. I don't want to get bullied again. I've been through many schools and it's time for this to stop. I'm going. So she convinced herself. Anyway, girls, in an hour, we'll have someone new. A girl I met. I think she's the one. She'll be entering the mansion soon. And yes, I've set it up. She won't be leaving. Don't worry. Sister, our sorority has endured for a hundred years. Our generation will usher in a new era. But she's some cult ish. Soon, what's written in the guide stones will be a reality. Everything we've been planning for will happen. I basically peer pressured myself into meeting up with Venice. You're late. I'm here now. What are you doing here? Are you scared? Why? Is there anything to be scared of? Aww, uh, such a cute, brave little wimp you've got here. Enough. I don't have much time for this. My dad is waiting for me at home. Duh. Why are you always in such a hurry? I've got more important things to do, you know. Is that so? Just so you know, this awesome shoe is limited edition and I bet you've got no money to pay for it. And for that, you'll need to do something for me. I'm not surprised. I've heard so much about you. The gossips are true after all. You heard it all right. You know what? I don't care. Oh well, it's getting late and I still need to get my hair done for the party. Will you cut it out? Just tell me what I need to do right now. Take a chill pill, Wimpy. Here's what you're gonna do. Spend the night heat in the infamous mansion. Just stay there for the night and we're even. Are you, cr are you out of your mind? Why would I do such craziness? No way! Not only that, I have a deal for you. Deal? What's in for me? I've known that I know that you have been invisible to everyone at school and you don't have any friends. Not really an issue for me. I'm better off alone. I like it that way. Whatever it is, no thanks. I guess you believe in fairness and equality, right? Don't you want people to start treating you better? I believe in that, yes. And I, it means people like you shouldn't force people to do what you want. I see that you have a big mouth too. That's it, I'm leaving. Your father wouldn't like that. What Venice wants, Venice gets. What? Your father works at Rongenstein Institute, right? Yes? How did you know? Had my people looking into you. If you don't do this, I'll have my Aunt Lilith fire your father. It's a shame too, since losing her wife, his wife, you and that job are all that he has left. Do you dare talk about my parents? But, okay, you have my attention, Venice. You've got it, Wimpy. Don't worry, this is tradition. If you pass the test, you'll be part of our sorority. You'll be respected and honored like every member. You'll be popular among students and teachers like. Your father will surely appreciate what you're about to do. Appreciate what? Living by your rules? I can't trace back cur curious and probable detrimental aspect of my personality at the time. Truth is, I didn't mind staying at the mansion. I've read about it and its paranormal phenomenon. I guess I wanted to, to see it for myself. Aside from that, I may have hated my father's job, but I didn't want him to lose it. I didn't want him to lose anything again. But why me? You're a boring person and you've ruined my shoes. Listen, I don't really care about joining your little group. Just promise not to bother me after tonight. Take a chill pill, clumsy. It's a deal. You have my word. Good. If you, if you accomplish this task, we'll tell the whole world, whole campus not to bother you. We will protect you. That includes us too. We will make your life miserable. Your father gets to keep his job. The opposite happens. If you fail, the entire campus will be your enemies. You will not graduate. Everything you've worked for out the window. Such a bully. <laughs> Why do you want me to go through this so bad, honestly? Mm, if you must know, I've been low on recruit this year. And I was hoping that after this, you may reconsider joining. Sorority life isn't so bad. You'll get new friends, know a lot of campus life too. You have sisters who will support you in your endeavors. You'll get a chance to engage in philanthropic activities. We can make a difference in our community together. I may be a mean big sister to you, but I hope you consider joining us after tonight. 
I'll think about it. Why didn't I see it coming? Why did I have to be so stupid? What am I doing here? The mansion was an old Victorian era mansion that was said to be haunted by spirits. It's just a few blocks away from the campus. TV shows devoted entire episodes about this place. They said no one should enter the mansion, for it could kill you and take your soul. Clickbait, fake news. When I was 12, I stopped believing in ghosts and spirits. So I always thought that any story involving this house was nonsense, a hoax, all made up for ratings. Why here? We've always had our sorority rights here. The location for the initi initiation needed to be a place where great fear is felt. It allows us to stop whims like you from joining the club. It's a, it, it, this, the place is perfect for that. And at night, with no lights, the roles are simple. Spend the night at the mansion. You get to leave at 6 a.m. You're allowed to sleep. Well, no, we'll know if you try to leave the mansion. Trust me, don't even try it. And also, no phones allowed. What a great way to get people into the sorority. Give me your member, give your members heart attacks and mental issues. <laughs> hey, I don't tell you how to run your sorority, don't I? Oh wait, that's right, you don't have one. Now get your butt in there before I kick it. So that's it for chapter 1. If you guys do enjoy the video, remember to hit on the like button and leave a comment if you like such format. And do remember to subscribe for my channel, to my channel for future content. See you guys next time. Bye!